and help is is just a little video here to use for port forwarding. Uh, as you can see, I'm doing an, a screen capture of my PC. I'm logging into my router. You find this written on the back of the router or in the manual. Now mine's a Netgear, so I've logged into my Netgear router, and I have the advanced tab on the left-hand side where it says port forwarding. These are all the port forwards there is. There is quite a few. That one there I got directly from Activision in live chat. And then these bottom three are new ones I've recently added for Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Now you add a custom service. In here, all the port lists are going to be in the description. So this is just what I would have done. Here, TCP. Um, just give it a random name that you know what it is. Make sure you assign an IP address. I assign mine at 100 that's in the DHCP server. Anywhere between 100, uh, between 50 and 150 is fine. There's 12 of these to do. You follow them from the link that's in the description. They'll all be written down and you put them all in. And then log out of your router. And that part on the computer is done after you've done all those. They take about 10 minutes. This is the Port Forward website for Call of Duty Black Ops 2. I will put a link to this website in the description. Now in here, is listed a load of manufacturers of routers see there's my one which was Netgear now I know there's people that use Sky you, it's normally a Sagem so I go into this and depending on what model you have some of them you can pull forward some you can't this one here as I highlight now you can see it says you, there's not enough spaces to do port forwarding so you have to do DMZ I'm not here to help you with DMZ because I don't like it I do port forwarding but I will put a link to this website in the description so you can check if your router that you use will be able to be port forwarded. Alright, you see a cam studio, that's what I use for screen capture on my PC. Now we switch over to the PlayStation. You don't need to sign in, you just go down to network settings. Okay, you go to the internet connection settings. We're going to this. I use a wired connection, you can use wireless, you go into custom, if you use wireless you must have your wireless key and the SSID, but after you've done the SSID on wireless it will take you to this bit. So now we do manual settings, auto detect on the speed duplex, IP is manual. Now in here you put in the address that you chose to use for port forwarding, so mine ends in 100, so my ending there is 100. Your subnet will be the subnet of your router. The default router will be what you used to log in to your router when we did port forwarding. Now these two are interesting, primary domain and secondary domain name servers. I use the open public source for Google. If you put these in like this, you may find you get a better connection. Again, automatic, do not use, enable UPnP. You see the settings I've put in, I'm gonna press X to test them. Now this is going to test, it gets the IP address, it gets the internet connection, it takes a minute but it will connect to the PlayStation network. It will tell me UMP MP is not available but that's because we have port forwarding but you turn UMP on just in case it helps on connections sometimes when your computer is not using the other ports. My NAT type will be type 2 because I go through a router. Don't worry about the speed tests, they're, they're oblivious to this. Now I've come out of the networks, we're all locked in, connected, so we sign in. I sign into my PlayStation account, and then I will launch Black Ops 2. The newest one out, this is where a lot of people have been having problems, hence why I've done this video to help for port forwarding. As I say, the port lists will all be written in the description of what you need to do. We load up Black Ops 2. Mine loads directly to multiplayer, so I have that set as default. Wait for the store option to come up, play online, connect to the service, and you'll see there down at the bottom, NAT, open, best connection. Thank you.